verification of uh, natron's theorem today we are going to do experiment what is natron's theorem any circuit can be converted into one equivalent circuit suppose uh, this is the 5 volt source and 180 100 ohm 270 ohm and load resistance is 180 ohm to find load current we are placed one ammeter okay entire circuit can be converted into one equivalent circuit in natron's current is in parallel with natron resistance and load resistance we placed. This is the load terminal AB. Okay. What is the current flows through this? Load resistance is IL. By using Norton's theorem, we are going to do experiment. First of all, before conducting experiment, we have to calculate what is the Norton's current IN, RN. IN and RN we have to calculate Norton's current and Norton's resistance. For this purpose, what we have to do to find Norton's resistance, we have to short 5 volt source first one to find not trans resistance we have to short voltage source if it is a current source we have to open circuit now step one not trans resistance how to find not trans resistance the voltage source is short circuited 270 ohm 180 ohm is removed load resistance is removed from this we have to see from these terminals a and b we have to see after that we calculating not trans resistance Total resistance Rn equal to, these are in parallel, 180 ohm and 270 ohm, 180 into 270 by 180 plus 270 plus 100 ohm. Therefore, total equivalent resistance, not trans resistance becomes 208 ohm. In step 2, we are calculating not trans current. Not trans current, how to calculate? By short circuiting the load resistance. By short circuiting the load resistance, not trans current, In we are going to calculate. By short circuiting load resistance, we are going to calculate IN. IN how to calculate? If you find what is the current here, I, then we can calculate IN here. Total resistance of this circuit is after short circuiting load terminals, that is 180, these are in parallel, 100 into 270 by 100 plus 270. 270 and 100 is parallel. Total resistance is 252.97 ohm. Now, this is the total resistance we calculated. For 5 volts, if it is a 5 volts, what is the to total current? I equal to V by R by using that formula. V by R, that is 5 by total 252.97. It gives total current in amps, that is 0 0.0197. But now this current 0 0.0197 amps is flowing in through 180 ohm from this voltage source. Now, what is the current flowing in Nortrans current? We have to calculate. Nortrans current is the current flow in 100 ohms or here. The terminals A, B is short circuited. In that position, what is the current? Total current I we calculated as 0 0.0197 amps. Now, Nortrans current equal to current division rule we are using here. Current division rule is total current into opposite branch resistance by opposite branch resistance plus present branch resistance. Total current is 0 0.197 into opposite resistance is for this is 270. 270 ohm is the opposite resistance. 270 by 270 plus 100 total resistance. From that we can calculate Norton's current is 0 0.01437 amps. That is 14.37 milliamps we will get. Now what is the current? Norton's current we calculated as 14.37. Now in the equivalent circuit we substituted in not trans current is 4.37 milliamps rn is 208 ohm rl we considered as 180 ohm now by using current division rule the current in will come up to here at this node and current is dividing now current division rule we are applying il current through this resistance we have to calculate opposite of this is 208 ohm total current in into opposite resistance divided by total resistance 7 pants, double six four milliamps. Let us see practically this current will come or not practically load current. And what is the Norton's resistance? Norton's resistance 208, it correctly came or not in laboratory, we can see. Norton's current also, this current will come or not, we can see. Let us see the experiment. <laughs> 